Hello and welcome to a new episode of Trains app, and today we are at Sevilla Santa Justa on could be a multitude of, of main lines and small commuter lines, I honestly couldn't tell you. But uh, you're basically just going to be seeing a lot of these. Uh, I, I believe, now you have to forgive me for this, it's pronounced, is it, is it Re Renfe? I'm going to stick with that, but um, I've never really been told the correct pronunciation for the, uh, for the Spanish rail operator. But that's basically what you're going to be seeing, but you're going to be seeing just hopefully a multitude of different services. Like you've got a real sleek EMU sat there. Presumably it's like an express commuter type of affair. You've then got some, um, like the, the, the proper regional commuter trains, the little three car numbers, like the one coming in now. You then got these uh, Taglo built units, like platypuses. It's uh, they're, they're something different. Not everyone's a cup of tea, but um, I have to say they do look rather snazzy. And I'll bring your attention back again as there's another, um, I believe it's a four car EMU. It's again real sleek. Now I'm judging that's high speed or go or made for high speed due to the aerodynamic nature of the nose. Behind this, you've got some, um, well really what I can only describe as, as like the, the, the Spanish version of the TGV. That's really as, as best info I can give you. Um, hopefully this leaves before that, or even if it does leave, you'll catch uh, the nose of it. We've also got, from the looks of things, another one of, uh, I'm going to say Renfe, or Renfe, I'm going to go Renfe. Or it might, it might just be Renf. Doesn't sound right. Renfe sounds... I don't know, it sounds better. Either way, you've got what looks like one of their... Um, another intercity train coming in. Well, I say you can see it. I can see it, but you can't see it because of the way the lighting works. So it's just a big bright light at the end of the station. But uh, here she is. I have to say... She looks very, very smart. It's like it's just the rear power car that's uh, got this on the go, which I find slightly odd. Ah, this will be the train off to Cadiz. This should be the 1116 departure to Cadiz. It's another Talgo built uh, unit. Well, you, you can tell by the, the slanted nose. Now let's see if I can't find any information in regards to this particular train. I don't, if, I don't actually know uh, if it comes under a specific class. Those of you who are more educated on your European railways, um, feel free to enlighten me in the comments down below. But I'm assuming that the, the number that is um, underlined is of significance. So, as far as I'm concerned, this could be, I don't know, set 15? I don't know, it, it could be absolutely anything. I, I'm not going to speculate. If, if you're coming into this video looking for uh, high octane information in regards to uh, European train travel, nope, this ain't the one for you. <laughs> it's basically just going to be me giving it a solid good guess as to what the bleeding hell they could be. And also there's going to be a hell of a lot of pronunciation and butchering. Should come as no surprise. Right. Off to a... Uh, I'm going to assume Benek is on. It's probably got a different pronunciation, but that's just me. I like them. They've got a sense of character to them, I feel. So, let's see what else shall turn up. Right. Oh, I like the sound of that. The 11.16 departure bound for Cadiz. 
as we have, uh, I just believe it, it's, it's another little community one departing as we have one arriving. I might get the one arriving actually, here we go. Well, it's got 729M at the front, <laughs> a little away from the driver there. Thank you kindly, sir. Look at these things, they're stunning. This is off to Laura Del Rio. That's off to Utrea, apparently. Whoop, there we go. Okay, now, if we had those in the UK, I wouldn't mind. They look great. I love this sleek design, it's fantastic. Tell you what, whilst... Oh, the couldn't look behind me. Oh, hello. Now you're off. To, uh, Car Tua. Or Car... or Car Hua. I love how these things have wing mirrors. Oh, going to break next speeds there. Giving it what for? That is ah. Is car, is car is car Chua a destination or is that the Spanish for you know not in service? I want to suggest that it's actually off to a destination, but when I was walking up here, there were certainly no passengers going onto that platform. I don't know. All right, anyway, uh, oof. No, you can't really see it again because the lighting isn't in my favour. But there's a couple of Spanish diesels over there. You've got a 319. Dot two four nine again. If that means anything to anybody, I'm not. Uh, I'm not the sharpest on me old continental locos. Would you believe it? There's a pigeon. They get everywhere. There's two of them there, latched up together. That's three nineteen. Uh, that's like two two five. I think there's another couple of locos stashed around the side as well. None of them electric. Uh, they're all diesels. So I'm assuming it's like a marshalling lard. lard? marshalling yard, get it right, for diesel locomotives. In fact, oh, there's a, a triple lashing of them. Unfortunately, there are bushes covering the third loco at the back. Right, if you're doing about turn. Find all is quiet. So it gives me a chance to have a bit of a catch up. In fact, I'll carry on, because I'm at, I'm just, I'm bloody adamant that I'm looking down there, center, center shot in between the two lights. I just saw a chap walking across the tracks. It's it's not pitch black in there, but uh, you'd have to be right on top of him to actually get a real decent look. But I'm I'm adamant I just saw a chap walking across the tracks. So I, I know the the continental approach to crossing platforms is a bit haphazard at times. More, more to support when I've been in Italy. I've just seen people sort of just wander from one platform to the other and they're supposed to use the bridges. But um, a bit, a bit brave doing it underneath a well, it's the it's the main road, really. It's the main station building and then main road. Strange. Anyhow, uh, yes. All right. A couple of sparks. Jolly good. Okay, I've come just a little bit further into the main station area just to catch a, a terminating uh, Spanish service. That's a gorgeous EMU. As we turn around and find another one of these chaps coming in, off to um, Hercules, apparently. I love the variety. That was absolutely fantastic. You've got one of the real old school EMUs next to that. That is that's beautiful, really. That's, I love the fact it's got the open mouth as well. But it's just yeah, I love it. It's quite. A, it's a very pretty EMU. Okay, we have another uh, EMU coming in. It's all going to be EMUs. I don't think we're going to get any diesels in here. Oh, it is diesel. Oh, well, what do you know? It's diesel multiple unit. Ugh. 
looks like it's terminating here at Sevilla. It is indeed. Wow, that's a that's a nice looking DMU. So that was me saying, oh, you're not going to get any diesel and multiple units when you're here. And what do you get? A DMU. It sounds good as well. So hopefully when that departs, it's going to be coming back up this way so I can hear it, um, well, basically giving it what for, with any luck. Okay, now departing is one of Renfe's Sevier units. I've done a little bit of research. It's doing the circular C4, apparently, with three people in there. Jolly good. Right, when I get a chance, I'm, I'm basically, I've, I've done a little bit of research in between getting these trains and I've, I'm, tr I'm working out what each one is. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit more in-depth for you. And the next train driver is one of Renfe's Class 598 uh, diesel multiple units. Six. Okay, I'm get I'm I'm getting this. Oh yes. Yes, sir. I am liking that. Right behind the uh, Taglo Platypus was an AVE Class One Hundred. That's the, one of the other high-speed trains they have here. And I'll also get you the, uh, the names of the EMU sat there, the EMU sat there, and then that one. And that one is one of their high-speed ones. Four car, but high-speed nonetheless. Okay, so that is a Class 104 high-speed uh, EMU. And that is a 114 high-speed EMU. So, uh, yeah, we're... We're getting there, we're getting an understanding. Okay, we're 12 minutes in, but we're getting an understanding. Jolly good. Right, there's nothing coming, but uh, that is uh, a, four, a class 449 EMU, and it's used for Renfe's uh, medium distance trains. So basically, you've, you've got the short local, local commuter numbers, then you've got medium distance EMUs, then it's long slash high speed. Uh, EMUs basically, or, and diesel multiple units depending on um, the type of uh, journey it takes on. Now I said that I'd, obviously you get DMUs here, but I don't actually know if you get proper loco hauls uh, trains here. I know you do get some in some areas of Spain, but I don't actually know if the loco hauled services uh, come here at all. So I think it might just be multiple units of uh, some description. But all I've got now is the humming of those uh, diesel engines down there. Uh, these are... they're all, all making noises. Now I've, I've got that, that making noises, I've got the AVE 100 behind that making noises. We've got those two sat down there, they've been there since I've got here, but I don't, I don't actually know if they're going to go anywhere. One of those trains, uh, sorry, the, the, one of the, the high speed numbers, uh, is off to Madrid at at some stage, because I was looking at the um, destination boards uh, as I was uh, coming in. No idea when they're actually going to be going, but I know they're off at some stage. Doing a quick belt turn, and uh, nope. Quiet as a church mouse. Okay, the diesel multiple unit is heading out as we have one of the, the uh, Renfe AVEs coming in. Operated uh, by the Class 100 series EMUs. Might be able to get it. I'm having a cheeky look behind me every now and again, just flick over the shoulder. As soon as I see it, there's going to be an abrupt turn. In fact, I might be able to do a complete 180 at this point. There we go. Spin around. There she is.
So the DMU was a class 599. Um, I'll have to try and get the, the actual the, the 599 something something. So that that there is 102022. I don't actually know if my eyesight's going to allow me to see what 100 series this is. I think it might be a bit too dirty. Yeah, I mean, even my eyesight's not that good. It's ever so sleek. Gorgeous train. Absolutely gorgeous it is. Not this, the 100 behind it. I don't mind it, I'm just not a fan of the whole duckbill platypus type of affair. Alright, so there goes the class 599. Now, I don't actually believe that is on a revenue earning service somewhere, because the headboard at the top, the LED headboard, uh, still said um, Sevilla. So, my assumption is that's off to the nearest um, depot. Where, wherever that would be. Now, I can't imagine it'd be too far up there. It must be, I don't know, just a, a kilometre up the track. Can't imagine it'd be too far. Again, it's part of one of Renfe's Class 100 Series EMUs. Looks like that's 100 triple one. I had to tell her that was one. That was sorry. That was one hundred um, two eleven by the looks of it. Well, it said two eleven on the rear. So I don't actually know whether they um, separate uh, electric units at the back. But it looked like that said triple one at the front and then two eleven on the rear. So could be how it works then. I do love this station. First time I came here, it was. Um, it was quite quiet, there's not a lot happening, but this time I've got trains that are just parked up on platforms, all various shapes and sizes. I think it's fantastic. This rail operating company have such a vast array of trains, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's just fantastic. I wish we had some of these in the UK, like, uh, like that. I love that. As an EMU goes, that looks great. I love it. Mind you, in saying that, I'll have that as well. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take all of these. I'll have these over most of the UK rolling stock. Quite happily. Back out to parting is one of the uh, Renfe Sivio units doing the circular C4 route, so I'm, I'm not too sure what that one entails. As we have, um, it's either a 446 or a 447 EMU coming in. Four four six. Not the brightest of lights on the rear, must be said. Okay, we have uh, another one of Renfe's high-speed trains coming in. It's the old uh, platypus again. One of their 112s, it's 112014. Just a slightly different configuration to the uh, 102s, by the looks of it. Not sure what the difference would be, but there's obviously, obviously a, a very marginal difference between the two. Aside from the fact that one needs a good clean. Oh, 
Oh, go on, go on, go on. Yes, there you go. Look at that. Perfect. From this angle, anyway. Okay, the next train to pass is another one of Renfe's Civia EMUs off to Laura Del Rio. Very sleek. Very, very sleek. Okay, uh, we've got one of the Civia units coming in as one of the uh, Renfe 559s is now departing. I'm under the impression that it's, uh, it's terminated here and then it's going to head out to the depot and then uh, we'll come back, I suppose. We have one of the Renfe 446s departing. Off to uh, Katua. Four four six zero eight eight. You can actually see there, it says uh, media distancia, which is basically which is medium distance. So it's, it's a medium distance DMU. So essentially, it'll, it'll just do like city to city. It won't, it won't go too far across country. At least that would be my immediate assumption. Certainly sounds good though. There was the... Well, it's Darth Vader. She was breathing, basically. Oh, this is a, oh, it's a 598. 598, 516. Fantastic looking trains and they sound good as well. Okay, looks like the uh, Talgo unit that came in is heading back out in the form of uh, 112013. In fact, I think that might be going off to the I think I might be going off to a, a sidings slash depot because the uh, destination boards on the side say Sevilla. So I'm trying to see if I can see inside. I could be mistaken, it, it could be on a revenue earning service, but. Uh, yeah, that's handy. The uh, buffet car is, or kitchen car, whatever you want to call it, is, is lit up, but nothing else is. Or cafeteria. You could go down that route. Go to the cafeteria car. Uh, I don't know. It, nah, see, to me, that is saying empty coaching stock. Like, to, to my eyes, I would. Yeah, that's got to be empty coaching stock, surely. Can't be anything else. Right. Well, that turned up. That isn't going anywhere yet. But it will do, at some stage. At some point it will disappear. 
Okay, we've one of the little regional commuters departing. Yeah, probably another one of 446. In fact, I think it's maybe one of course earlier. Judging by the paperwork on the front of it. <laughs> 446128. No. Oh, I. Oh, 064. Oh. Oh, different, different numbers. Okay then, so maybe it's just a 446, maybe it doesn't have a configuration. But I got uh, I got the, the peace sign from uh, one of the three people or members of the train crew at the front there, so... Gracias. In fact, I think it may have been a woman. Gracias, senorita. Okay, we have another Renfe Civil unit coming in. Oh lord, where are we off to? Utrira. Jolly good. Well, it's a class six, 465 by the looks of it. Now, I don't know if, you're, if I'm starting at the wrong part. Oh, well, that's leaving. Um, can you actually... You might be able to. Just up there is one of the uh, four-car medium-distance high-speed... Medium distance, you burk. Long distance, high speed EMUs that uh, departed. It was actually getting itself ready. Uh, passengers were in the process of boarding it for about half an hour. But um, yeah, that, that this definitely cements my idea that this is off to a, a siding or a, a, a depot of some description. Problem is, because obviously I have no idea, I don't know the area at all. I mean, the, the depot could be a kilometre up the track, it could be, I don't know, just under the, the next bridge, just around the corner. I, I genuinely wouldn't know. What I do know is, they sound really nice. Lovely. Okay, we have another regional commuter coming in, uh, bound for... Uh, Hercules again, so that's two in however long, it may be once an hour. I do love the fact that they have literally got wing mirrors. No, you just send the bloke, that's a poke out of the window, a mirror signal manoeuvre, and he's off. Okay, the next train driver is uh, another one of Renfe's high-speed EMUs. Right, gliding away in is another one of the e blah, 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 blah. One, Jesus Christ, one of the 102 variants. And I was right, the previous one is sat in the sidings just outside the station. 102020 looks like it brings up the rear. Okay, the next stretch part is another one of MFA's Sivia built EMUs doing the Circular C4. So I'm probably seeing the exact same train three times now. I don't know how the Circular C4 works. And the Platypus EMU is coming back in again. As 
So it's 112014 at the front of that. Could definitely do with a clean. And voila. No, no, a little bit more then. There you go. Again, okay, departing is the Renfe AVE service to Madrid, led by 102022. That's been here since I got here about quarter to eleven this morning, and it's now twenty to one. Two zero two one brings up the rear. Okay, the next train to part after being here all morning and part of the afternoon is one of Renfe's uh, high speed EMUs. the class 104s. Couldn't tell you where it's off to. Okay, coming back, it's going to be one of the uh, Renfe 598s, the diesel multiple unit. <laughs> oh, yes, please. As we have on the Circular C4, another one of the uh, Civia units. Very, very nice. Okay, and the next train to arrive is one of Renfe's uh, regional EMUs. Probably another 446. Looks like this is coming out of the depot, or the nearest sidings, or wherever. Certainly no passengers on board. Oh, 
Okay, our fire train of the day is going to be another one of Renfe's Sylvia built EMUs heading off to some far and distant land. B class 465. Oh, off to Laura Del Rio. And as she continues on, which I shall leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching, it is greatly appreciated. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment, I do get back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. Well, last time I came here, uh, it certainly wasn't uh, wasn't as busy. It's, it's obviously, it's not heaving here. There's there's long elements between clips where I'm, uh, I'm waiting a fair length of time for trains to come and go as the uh, DMU heads off to somewhere mystical and magical but uh, I loved having the chance to come back here and um, yeah I, I just love ha being able to do European films so I'm hoping that I'm able to do a lot more throughout the course of this year but uh, until next time from me here at Sevilla Santa Justa I shall see you all later take care guys goodbye